Hey guys, so I wanted to make this quick tutorial on how to integrate the Etsy and Printful platform. I had lots of questions on my last video with a little confusion regarding print providers and different things like that and how it works with the integration. So this is just an intro to get you started and this is exactly how to do it step by step. So you'll be able to see my screen in just a moment and see the whole process. Please let me know if you have any questions below, leave them in the comment section and I would love to help you out. Okay, and let's get into it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with our Etsy Printful integration. And first thing you wanna do is go to printful.com. You can access this in the link below or you can just <laughs> go to printful.com and you're gonna sign up in whatever way is best for you, whatever email you use regularly was gonna be the best for this. Um, once you get to this page, just go ahead and hang out and we're gonna open up a new tab to go over to Etsy. Okay, and once you're onto Etsy, and again, there is a link below that you can get signed up with that'll bring you directly to the sign up page to start selling. But basically just go to etsy.com and sign in or create an account. Whatever account that you have, make sure you're using the same email that you just used for Printful so that everything is integrated with the same email account. Um, once you're logged in, there is a sell on Etsy button on the top right corner that you're gonna wanna go to. So once you get to this page, it is gonna be pretty self-explanatory. It's basically just gonna walk you through setting up your shop. So if you don't really know what you're gonna be selling yet or the name of your shop, don't worry. You can go back and do this later. The main thing is just setting up your billing so that you will be able to get paid and your shop will be able to be integrated with Printful. Um, I'm gonna show you in the next slide how to set up your first listing when you are just starting out and don't have anything to sell yet. So during this process, it is going to ask you to stock your shop and add a listing. So I'm just gonna go through quick and just make a demo listing. I'm using an old photo from a old dropshipping product I used to use, and I'm just making this a complete draft, but this does need to be done so that they let you open your shop. The most important thing that I'm showing you right here is that you do need to let Etsy know that you are selling through a company such as Printful. So this is super important. Don't skip this part. Basically, you're just going to select another company or person is making the product. It's a finished product and it's made to order. Um, this is crucial because Etsy is super sketchy and if they see anything going on that they don't know about, they will close your shop. Um, but again, I'm just going through and filling out everything that it's asking for and just kind of BSing it just to get past this step. So for adding that production partner, which is crucial, like I said, you're just gonna click it, add Printful, and where they're located, which is Chatsworth, California. It'll come up if you spell it correctly, not like how I did. Um, and then you're just gonna type why you're using Printful. They don't really, this part doesn't really matter, but it's just, it will show up on your listing. So however you wanna word it is up to you. So at the bottom here, when adding the print provider, you're gonna to wanna to say that you don't have the technical ability to make everything, that you design everything yourself, and that they create the product for you, but you do the rest. So even though this is a dummy listing, that option now will come up when you do have your actual listings in the future. So it's important to do it now. And again, I'm just going through and filling out the rest of the listing so that it lets me get past this part. For shipping, none of this is gonna be here just because you don't have a shop yet, so don't worry about that, but you will have to create a random shipping profile to get through the listing. Um, basically, you just create a shipping profile, select um, your zip code. You don't need to use anybody's zip code yet. This will be integrated for you, um, but just put in your zip code and a random processing time and hit done. <laughs> So once you're gonna go ahead and hit publish, it is gonna tell you that there is a 20 cent fee for every new listing. This is the case with Etsy. I know it's unfortunate, but trust me when I say that it's worth it for this platform and you don't have to pay the 20 cents right away like they bill you later. And if you do make your first sale, it will just take it out of that. Um, but once you do that, you should see your listing pop up right after you hit publish and that's a good sign. All right, so we're gonna head over back to Printful and your screen will look like this. It's gonna show you step-by-step step what to do. Um, you can confirm your email right now, but you don't have to connect your store. So I'm just gonna go ahead and connect the store right now. So once you get to this page, I am gonna show you right here 
how awesome Printful really is and how many options of platforms you have to choose from and that can be connected all at the same time, which honestly is amazing that there is something like this that you can operate everything from one, you know, house, one actual platform. But I am just gonna select Etsy, obviously, and there is a video here that is pretty helpful if you wanna watch it. Um, Printful does give a lot of cool, helpful tips like that. Um, but we're just gonna go down and hit connect to Etsy. I didn't actually hit connect just because I already have a shop paired on this Printful account and didn't wanna mess anything up with the IP address. But once you click it, it may take a little while. It might even show you a loading bar if I remember correctly, but if it's done how it's supposed to be done, under your stores tab, your store should show up here as I'm pointing to on the cursor if you did it correctly. So once that's all done, um, even if you're not ready to add a product to your store, if you don't have it designed yet or anything, don't worry about it. Um, but it is good to just show you the process. So you would hit add a product on whatever store you were on. And I mean, check out how many things Printful has for you to start a store with. I mean, there's literally anything you can think of. I'm going to best sellers here just to show you what the main things people do make the most money on, which is t-shirts, sweatshirts, hats, tote bags, mugs, but they have a ton of stuff. I mean, everything from pillowcases to jewelry and seriously, like anything you can think of phone cases. But here I just selected a t-shirt and look at all the color options too. This really helps you stand out from other just regular print shops that are on Etsy that, you know, mom and pop shops where they make it at home don't have usually the option to print color and print this many colored t-shirt options. Um, I'm just selecting a old design that I've sold in the past here just to show you how easy it really is to add a product to your store. Printful gives you all of the print options like front, back, tag, so you can really create a brand and be unique off of the other stores that are on Etsy and other e-commerce platforms. What I really like about Printful too is they give you a lot of options for mock-ups and adding additional mock-ups, and you can even go back in later and create more mock-ups for this, which is really crucial when you're selling something. You might think that these look a little cheesy. That's okay, I'll show in another video later on how to make better mock-ups, but these are just fine for getting started. I have made sales with literally just a basic mock-up. Um, and then here I'm just typing in some SEO, which again, I'll have videos coming up more. So how to get your Etsy listings, you know, seen in the algorithm. Um, but I suggest creating a description that you're going to be using on all of your listings in the future. It's important to not give this many details, like how it gives you this description here. I think that's saying a little too much. I don't think anyone needs to know that much about the fabric and stuff unless they ask you, you know, in chat, whether that's about an allergy or something. Um, so what I'm just saying here is just to allow 10 business days for the product to be made. And it's because of the made to order process, which is true. Sometimes it can get a little backed up and it's always important to you know, give a longer time frame and over deliver, deliver quicker than it is to say that someone's product will be done in a short amount of time and have it late to them. So I just like to be transparent with the customer. I'm deleting all of this nonsense here. <laughs> um, like I said, I think it's a little too much. Nobody really reads the descriptions until they're about to buy the item and they don't want to read a giant description. So here I am just adding some tags. Tags are really important and I will have a later video coming out on that. Um, but you're gonna wanna click this button right here that says add a size chart to your listing. If you don't have one already, which you probably don't, um, it's super cool that Printful gives you this option. Then you just select if it's unisex, men or women, um, whatever product you chose will tell you this before. And you're not gonna have sections yet. You can create those later, but I'm just selecting the section because I have them. Sections are really important in your shop just because it helps your customer find things easier. The next thing is pricing, which can be a complete nightmare if you don't know what you're doing. So I do suggest going and checking out what you wanna sell, how much it costs, how much the shipping is, and how much you would like to make on it. Um, but my personal opinion for t-shirts is $23 with the free shipping. I feel that that is fair for me. I may raise my prices soon, but I am giving you that tip. So once you price your item and you go ahead and hit publish, it will take about two to five minutes depending on how fast your 
um, computer is and it will eventually show up in your Etsy store. So you go back over to Etsy in your shop manager and you'll be able to pull open, pull open the listings tab and it should appear in your draft listings like this one is here. See how it's there? And when you click on it, you'll have to add the finishing touches, be able to move around the photo, um, whatever photo you want to be, the first one that the customer sees on the page, which is the thumbnail. And then you're just gonna go scroll down to the lower part here and make sure that you are selecting that print partner, like I said before, for whatever reason, Printify popped up, so I need to go back in and create that, but Printful that you had made earlier will show up there, so just make sure that you select that. Now, for the shipping, because we're integrated, there will be a shipping profile that shows up at the top that's already selected, and that's gonna be the exact cost of what it is to ship it from Printful without any profit or anything. But like I said before, I choose to do free shipping because I feel like you get a better click rate when you have free shipping. Once you publish, you're just going to go ahead and check out your listing, make sure it looks good, um, kind of decide what you want it to look like if you need to go back and edit it. This is just a preview, but you can see here how easy it is for your customer to select their color and size. And that's pretty much it.